In this video, we're dealing with scalars, vectors, and Newton's laws. Scalars have magnitude or size or value only. For example, distance, speed, mass, energy, density, and so on. Vectors have magnitude and direction as well. For example, displacement has a direction. Same with velocity, force, acceleration, momentum. They all have direction. Look at this example here. A runner can complete a circuit of 400 meter track in 50 seconds. So he can do this complete lap in 50 seconds. You have to calculate his average speed, average velocity, and then the average change in velocity as he goes from A to B here to there. For the answers, let's look at question one. Speed is distance over time. Both speed and distance are scalars. They go together. So that divided by that gives you 8 meters per second. That is speed. Now for velocity, velocity is associated with displacement because both are vectors. So because displacement is zero, after completing one lap, the runner came back to where he started, so displacement is zero, so zero divided by 50 is still zero, so the velocity is zero. Now for change of velocity going from A to B is final minus initial. Final is here, initial is there, and so one minus the other, but you can't minus vectors, you have to change minus a plus, like that. You change the sign from minus to plus, you change the direction from that way to that way. And then you can add these two together like this. That one there is that one there. That one there is that one there. That plus that gives you that, which is the change of velocity. Newton's laws. There are three laws, but we'll just look at the first two. First law says, when there is no resultant force on an object, the acceleration of the object will be zero. The object will either be at rest, stationary, or traveling at a constant velocity. Second law, when there is a resultant force on an object, there will be acceleration. This can be represented by the equation F equal to ma. So the acceleration of an object is related to the force applied to the object. M is a mass. When we apply F to MA to gravitational situation, the equation becomes this. Weight force is simply the, the gravitational force acting on the object times its mass times acceleration due to gravity. So this is a special case of this formula, F to MA. Force components, which means resolving one single force into two separate forces, which is in a way is opposite to force addition, where you add two forces, this one and that one, to give one single resultant force. For this example here, we have a round object of 500 Newton weight force. So here's the round object, its weight force acting into the ground. And this force can be resolved into two components, one perpendicular to the slope, one parallel to the slope. And this is the one that will accelerate the round object down the slope. And we have to find out what this one is. This force is parallel to this side here in this running triangle. So we just have to find this this sign which is opposite to this angle, 30. So we use sine 30. And the answer is 250 newtons for this force. So that is the accelerating force. Here, question one. Then to find out the acceleration, we use F to MA rearranged. F is simply this Fx. M is mass. And for mass, you had to divide the weight by 9.8 to give 51. Kg. So 250 divided by 51, you get 4.9 meter per second squared. 